back for Inyimba. But the people's elephants will not want to come away from this derby without anything. Right now, they are the team chasing the game, and that wasn't <laughs> what the bookmakers had thought prior to this game. Sorry, Mimo. Onyali. Looking for Kingsley Salami, but the touch was too strong, and the man Yamu is not taking any chances as he blasts the ball away. Ten minutes from the start of the second half, a substitution for Enyimba International. And it's the team's top scorer for this season, C.B. Gua, who replaces the ineffective Ifani Ede. And when C.B. Gua has come on this season so far for Enyimba, whether in the league or in the Champions League, he has managed to score. Top scorer in the league for Niger Tornadoes a couple of seasons ago, he joined Enyimba last season. And Yimba coming forward, and they shot, should be taken well. That was absolutely crazy from C.B. Guar. His first touch, and that was atrocious. It was a good ball laid for him there. And uh, you would have expected Chime Ziaman for laid the ball for him. And, well, the resultant shot by C.B. Guar was just this. That would have been quite some introduction. He was wide open there, only needed to choose what part of the net to strike the ball into. Instead, he chose to fire high over the crossbar. Not uh, what he wanted to do, but uh, no, nevertheless satisfying for these supporters of Abia Warriors all clad in red. They've been dancing their lives away since that goal, that bullet from Itodo hit the back of the net on 34 minutes. Another injury concern for Ladan Boso's side. It doesn't seem to be very serious. That's Kingsley Salami, who's been told he has to go off before coming back on. Emeka Wanna himself up front has caught an isolated figure, and that's because the defense of Abia Warriors, they've really been up to scratch. If you notice, the captain of Abia Warriors, Chivo Locha, has more or less married Emeka Wanna in this game. He's not let him have a breather. It's still that scoreline, 1 0, thanks to that uh, crackling shot from Claire to Sitodo. The game is becoming slightly fractious. And uh, it's all systems go as far as the two sides are concerned. Kingsley Sokari going for the ball. There it is, the newcomer, Eto Daniel. Uh, well, sorry, that was uh, Chidozie Johnson who came into the action there. The eagle-eyed Joseph Onoha again organizing his defense. Well, that's why those first half antics. I think you have to say he's come up good when called into, you know, when he when needed. Yeah, I agree with you, but I also think that Enyimba needs to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. And that, oh, well, Ayosaka was a bit slow getting to it. But you can see how unhappy some of the Abia Warriors defenders. And the ball flighted in there by Maxino Jobo. And uh, was you showing me more heading away. Bright to see him, eh? still fighting for that ball. He gives it away in the end. And Abia Warriors, well, in all <laughs> sorts of trouble uh, on their own. The player is still down inside the box there. Uh, the referee finally brings play to a stop. Uh, Zonyekachi Nelson seems to have some problems with his uh, left foot. Was you sure Mimo doesn't appear happy because uh, he didn't think the official saw the infringement and yet allowed play to continue. But that was uh, probably because Enyiba had advantage, an advantage that might have led to a goal. And uh, Nelson is signaling or trying to indicate that uh, it was an elbow into his face. Uh, anxious looks uh, slowly beginning to creep onto the faces of some of the Enyiba fans. We're just two minutes shy of the hour mark here, and no one had expected the people's elephants to be the side trailing on their own patch against a newly promoted side. 
in the first derby of Fabia State. But uh, their fans, they still hope for the best. They've been drumming and singing ever since this game kicked off, and they've been doing that for years on end. But these are the men managing to stay calm. The men in red with cause to celebrate was you showing me more that was goal great save there from Onoha top draw save from Onoha Joseph Onoha and uh, well it's incredible how he saved us but first credit must go to was you uh, showing me more and that one flighted in one hundred absolute stunner in terms of saves that's the save of the game so far and uh, Maxwell Jobo thought he had pulled his side level because uh, he picked his foot and just uh, teed that ball towards the far corner. Wondrous save from uh, the goalkeeper. Joseph Onoha coming up tops again in this battle between he and uh, virtually the entire Enyimba team. Well, it's uh, another corner kick to Enyimba, cranking up the pressure here. Ojobo still feeling his eyes for the ball, hoping he will get another crack at testing on Oaha. And swings in. Abia Warriors under siege. Martin Ojobo. Suspicion of offside. But uh, Enyimba would seem to be getting the benefit of the doubt at the moment. And that one coming again. That ball should be flighted away without much problem. Well, <laughs> that really was uh, clumsy in the extreme. Zachary Braji. He's been up since the first half. Knows his side needs to get back into this game. Another delivery from Maxino Jobo. But a poor one in the end. Well, Enyimba have been camped in the half of Abia Warriors for quite a spell now. Oh, Chimezia Malfo was upended there by Obasi Okoro. And Enyimba, wave after wave of attacks. Great defending from Enyimba. And the shot, well, not on target there. That was a snapshot from Kingsley Sokari. When the header looped back in, Sokari, it was set up for him nicely by CB Ugoa, but uh, he sliced his shot. Never going to trouble on one. So career again for Enyimba. And that ball fell into the path of Ayosaka. Well, I'm not too sure that was the best thing to do in the circumstance. And Maxino Jobo, with his much weaker left foot, does but lose it into the skies. He didn't know it, Maxon, but he could have had a touch. Good play initially from Ayosaka. I think he's done very well. Ayosaka, <laughs> you can see Zachary Baraje looking. He thought that one was going in, but unfortunately it was ballooned way over the crossbar. Bishop Onyudo with the close attention from uh, Chinedu Doji. And the Doji simply got the job done. Ayosaka and Shoe Mimo finally getting onto the ball. Good clearance from Chidozie Johnson. And uh, it's Abia Warriors coming forward now. 
Ifanyi Onyale is known to be a very, very tricky customer, but solid defending, beautiful defending from Tinedu Doji. It's uh, funny, the, the player himself, Ifanyi Onyale, he knew he had uh, lost possession. And, uh, well, the way he grabbed that ball was comical. <laughs> Almost uh, something a goalkeeper would be proud of. <laughs> Well, it might have finished comically, but that was an opportunity lost by uh, Abia Warriors to do something that might have been remarkable. And you're still asking the questions here, Mekamwana. Mekamwana is uh, full of trickery. If he can't get the pass away, he'll probably draw a foul. Chine Mamfo, the referee says play on. We might well come back to it later, Sokari. Ah, no, another last-ditch defending from Wasiu Shawe Mimo. He really has been magnificent in this game. And uh, Sibi Guar, they know him. They know what he's capable of. A shove, and he's going to be an Enyimba free kick. Play to see Todo. Scorer of the goal that separates these two sides. Guilty that time of illegally obstructing the run of Brighton Sieme. You can see the shove, but Siema was looking for that as well, and he's got it. Itodo clearly one of the contenders for man of the match, as is Wasu Shoemimo. He's been absolutely sweet in this game, but it's uh, another SMA delivery. He decides to go to Maxino Jobo. That ball is Miss Kingston Sokari now. For Enyimba. They just are not getting it right in that final third. And uh, Bishop Onyudo is it one on one now. Three against two. Onyudo still with the ball. And uh, he almost missed it. But there they come again. Chidozie Johnson. Clear to see Todo. But uh, the ball just uh, checkmated there. It's still that long goal by Abia Warriors. Enyimba nil. Abia Warriors won with uh, less than 24 minutes left of action here. Enyimba are uh, cutting it quite close here, aren't they? Great pass to Bright Asieme, and a great cross from him. Ayosaka was uh, shaping up to get to that ball, but he couldn't. It's another Enyimba blitz of attack. Amamfo has been quite busy since coming on. And uh, he wants to see if he can see something. Martin Ojobo took a crack at goal, but that was uh, way, way off target. He's been doing that since this second half started. Not to any great effect. But you can't blame him because uh, the forward, uh, two forward players in Enyimba, Siv Yugwa and Emeka Wanna, have not exactly sparkled. Abia Warriors fans, do they care? Certainly not. This is Onyekachi Nelson. Maybe a bit fatigued, he might be substituted. That was the earlier chance missed by that man, Ojobo. Just sliced that one away from target. And he was disappointed with that effort. Onyekachi finally getting his wish, being stretched out. I don't think he's going to come back. It seemed, seemed to have been asking to be taken off. And finally, he's been taken off. Whether he can continue, that's uh, left to Ladam Boso to decide. Shot well showing Mimo again. Kingsley Sokari becoming more uh, enterprising, more confident, and punched away that time by Onuoha. Martin Ojobo, ball up, and uh, that time Joseph Onuoha simply grabbed the ball. Yeah, but he's really got, got good hands in this game. Joseph Onuoha really getting the attention of a lot of the scouts 
who scored Nigeria Premier League grounds, the first torture to punch that ball away. This one was uh, very good indeed, and uh, the second follow-up, he smothered. A man for oh, solid tackle. Well, somehow Ifanyo Nyali couldn't uh, get his pass accurate enough. 20 minutes of action left here. It is Enyimba trailing by a goal to nil against uh, Abia Warriors. Amamfo draws a free kick. And uh, Ifanyi Onyali, he wants to be careful. The referees don't particularly like uh, play continuing after the whistle. Ayosaka, oh, a header from Simbikwa. And again, he misses completely. Two guilt-edged opportunities for Sibiguar since coming on, and uh, two really awful misses. And that's uh, fans looking anxiously. They are not seeing what they expected to see. Well, Kletu, it has been an almighty battle between Brighton CMA and Kletu Sitodo on that side because uh, two of them, they seem to be uh, involved in a war of acrimony. But uh, the play is held up because the goalkeeper for Enyimba, uh, Abia Warriors, rather, uh, Joseph Onwoha, has been down even while this substitution takes place. Uh, this uh, must be a major change in tactics by Zachary Baraje as... Daniel Eto has gone in to replace Razak Aliyu. I don't understand this because the Abia Warriors goaltender went down and uh, he's been booked. <laughs> Has he been booked for sustaining an injury or something? Well, that's strange because uh, the referee books him and then wait for the medical, the medicals to come in. So <laughs> it, it beats me. If you think he was not injured and he was feigning it, maybe he shouldn't have called the medical team at all. I don't know if uh, maybe there, there, there are new rules uh, we don't know about, uh, you know, in, in, in relationship with goalkeeping injuries. Because just yesterday in Port Harcourt, we saw another goalkeeper go down with injury, which later proved to be a, a genuine injury. He was booked for time wasting. And that was in the first half. And eventually, the same referee who booked him also called in the medical team. Just 24 hours later, we're seeing the same scenario. Abia Warriors fans, they hope for their own good that their goalkeeper is not badly injured. He's really been instrumental to Abia Warriors maintaining this one goal lead since the 34th minute. Patrick Isher. Joseph Ono has been booked, except that I don't know what, for what reason. Well, for the moment, let's let that remain a mystery. And uh, it would appear that it's a mystery also to these fans who are looking on, because you can see confusion uh, beside anxiety also written on their faces. But there is real anxiety as uh, the substitution, another substitution this time for Abia Warriors. <laughs> And yet another former Enyimba player, Obunayo Kemiri, he's the player who's gone on to replace the injured Nelson Onyekachi. And you can understand why. Obunayo Kemiri is a rugged defender, a no-nonsense defender. And um, it tells you exactly what Ladan Boso has in mind. But Chinedua Mamfo, he pulls his man, the referee, right behind them. And uh, he's giving a free kick to Enyimba. Nelson Onyekachi <laughs> looking blankly into space, sort of. 
is it possible that we're going to carry we're, we're about to carry the day today it seems to be the look on onyeka Nelson's face <laughs> because he can't seem to believe what is happening but the flag stays down see big to amanfo amanfo ball forward finding his man Head to daniel who just came on ayosaka and clear to see todo with the ball is looking for Bishop Onyudo, who does not have pace, is easily outrun by Chinedu Doji. Imanya now. Um, you did say earlier that uh, when Chinedu Doji has the ball, he's not one to make you have your hat to your mouth. But a couple of occasions in this game, including that last occasion, he nearly turned the total control of the ball into a 50-50 situation. His distribution, you have to say, hasn't uh, always been top-notch in this encounter. Chidozie Johnson. Johnson to Obasiokoro. Obasiokoro has put in a good shift as well. The flag stays down. And uh, somehow you simply knew Bishop Onyudo was not going to get onto that ball. 15 minutes left of action. And that's normal time. And that still remains the scoreline. Enyimba near Labio Warriors 1. It's uh, really beginning to look anxious for Enyimba International. They're beginning to look as if uh, they're slightly running out of ideas. Ayosaka, Emanyao. He can release terrible shots from that range. And that's Daniel Eto. Good rallying in the end by Abia Warriors. Ball forward looking for Bishop Onyudo. Bishop Onyudo one on one with uh, Chinedu Doji. Masterfully done by Udoji. The captain's game he's playing here today. And Kingsley Salami hurrying his man from behind. <laughs> Two balls on the pitch. One got rid of. As Enyimba gets set to take the free kick but they give the ball away so many times when they get into the final third i think that's uh, really been partly responsible for any but not being able to even the scores here today right you say may miss that one but any but lucky to regain control martin ojobo sokari daniel eto Another nimble-footed player, Amamfo. He was squaring to take that shot. And Kingsley, oh, Sokari, that was a very, very, very fierce one. And the referee says, get on, Am get up, Amamfo, and continue with the game. Bright as The ball across, and heads bringing down. Oh, good goalkeeping. Wonderful anticipation from Onwoha. And then Yimba really turning on the screws now. They are turning on the style here. They are turning on the heat on Abia Warriors. They have to get to go to crowd their efforts because that's the only thing that will satisfy these fans who have trunk this place today. Joseph Ono had chiefly responsible for denying Enyimba scorable opportunity after scorable opportunity. And here they go trying to see what uh, they can do up front. Chidozi Johnson gives the ball away and the tackle that misses but Enyimba tenacious, they continue with that ball. A good run. The, go the referee keeps quiet because Enyimba had possession. And the ball simply refuses to move forward. So Kari takes care of that. So Kari, another contender for man of the match. He's really put in a wonderful performance today. It's strange, but uh, I don't seem to know what that was meant to be. Well, Emma <laughs> Anyau with Tito on him. Enyimba simply, gradually, but inexorably running out of time here. Ojobo. 
Amamfo wants the pass, but it goes instead to Guar. Ojubo. Another forward for it, but a more calculated one. CB Guar. A very dangerous customer. A back heel, a mecha one. Now. And Amamfo just getting the ball back. It's set further away, but not sufficiently by Kingsley Salami. But laying another siege to another wasted shot from Maxino Jobo. Zachary Baraja, I think he's earned his rest. <laughs> he's been standing for virtually the entirety of this game so far. I'm